Hi friends, it's Precious. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video finds me inside the nursery at Evergrow Garden Center. And you can probably tell by now that Evergrow is my favorite place for shopping for gardening supplies. Well, today I'm not shopping. Instead, I'll be doing a special feature on a product that you guys have seen me use in some of my videos. And some of you have even asked, Precious, what is Growfight? Where can I get it to purchase? Well, today we'll be learning all there is to learn about the product. But first, we're going to meet the director and founder of Evergrow who distributes Growfight in Jamaica. Welcome back, friends. Standing right next to me is director and founder of Evergrow Garden Center, Mr. Borel Scarlett. Mr. Scarlett, thank you so much for having me this morning and for facilitating this presentation on Growfight. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Borel Scarlett? Mm. When did you get started in horticulture? How did it all begin? Oh, I'm stretching my... <laughs> 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 memory no. Uh I guess it, well thanks for having me on your on your show. Pleasure is mine. Yes. Um it all began maybe decades ago um with my grandmother who was a peasant farmer mm -hmm. and I would have accompanied her to the field mm -hmm. to you know sit in the shade while she <laughs> worked. While, while she was working your city. But you're observing. But, but I was right. right. Yes. I was observing and I was seeing what was happening, how she was planting the seeds and how they were popping through the soil and etc. etc. And I just took I was just so intrigued by seeing things mm -hmm. go. Yeah. And she once asked me, So what do you want to do? And I said, I wanted to be a, a plant doctor. <laughs> and it was after maybe two decades that whilst I was in my plant pathology classes at university that I re realized that I was on the road to being a plant doctor. Excellent, <laughs> so yes. My dream came through. Right, you know? right. So that's, that's where it all Yes. And here started. we are today. Okay, yes, we are here today. Today we are one of the, if not the largest garden center in Jamaica and maybe by extension the Caribbean. Wow, that's, that's wonderful. Yes. Because from yes. my experience, I've been to a lot of plant places and by far this is the largest from Correct. my experience. Yes. Right. So what we facilitate uh, what we, we have here is it's plant care products. Mm -hmm. So what you'll find is that um, even our plant offering is maybe just about 20% of the size of our operation. Um, uh, because what we do, we cater for supplies. Yes. So whatever you want, medication for your plants, fertilizers, yeah. fungicides, Insecticides, a hose, a sprinkler, nursery pots, pots. Nursery pot, yes. you name it. Mm -hmm. If you are growing, you will find the supplies at Evergrow Gardens. And so it's safe to say then that Evergrow has everything under one roof everything when it comes to gardening to supplies. And yes. Interestingly enough, is that we we did not we 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 are not restrict restricted to. Um, Backyard gardener, home gardeners, or amateur gardeners, um, we offer supplies for commercial growers. So the largest farmers in the country, 
whether it's open field or greenhouse um, production, they are customers of Evergrow because we do have their needs. So irrigations, fertilizers, um, chemicals, we do supply. So you have heard it from the CEO himself. Look no further, search no further. Whatever you need for your gardening supplies, whether it be horticulture, agriculture, whatever it is, you will find it at Evergrow. What if there's a product that a customer needs and there's a product that a customer might need and you don't have it at the moment? It's not in stock. Do oh. you normally, would you normally like bring it depending on the demand? Depending on the demand and we do have associates in the business. Okay. So what we don't have, we can get it from our associates. Excellent. Um, or we do refer you directly to them if we don't. Um, Excellent. I love that. Yes. yes. So guys, we're now going to get into the meat of the matter. We're going to be talking about growfight. Mr. Scarlett, what is growfight and what is its purpose? Okay. Um, allow me to give you a little background on it. No maybe. problem. Okay, so fertilizers, let's say um, feeding your plants, you know that you need about uh, 15, 16 elements to, in a fertilizer, the end popular NPK, calcium, magnesium, etc., etc. Right. Now, what um, um, researchers have found over in, in recent years is that some of these nutritional elements have microbial or antimicrobial properties. Namely, you know about a copper fungicide, say. Yes. So copper is needed as a, as a nutrient, mm -hmm. but it also aids the plant in having antifungal property. The same thing is true for sulfur, um, and phosphorus now. So phosphorus, let us look at, therefore, growfite, which is a derivative of phosphorus. Okay. Okay. And to put phosphites into perspective, what is a phosphite? So you are familiar with, say, phosphoric acid mm -hmm. from which they make um, phosphate fertilizers. Now, phosphite is a derivative of phosphoric, sorry, phosphorus <laughs> acid, which okay. is a different <laughs> form, slightly different form of acid from phosphoric. Okay. Okay. So what um, these researchers have found is that the derivative of this phosphoric acid, which is phosphorus acid, which is phosphite, is very effective in controlling um, certain fungi, namely um, pythium and phytophthora. And hence, phosphite is a very wide, is very widely used in the golf course business, in grass turf mm -hmm. management. So to take care of, um, of, of root rots in turf, they depend heavily on phosphite. And this so because it is pretty safe. It is as safe as common salt. Okay. Okay, the table salt. Okay. So phosphite, therefore, is very widely used for root rot control. And not only in turf, by extension, you know how, how chemicals use gold in plants. You use it on calanchos and you find it work. You then try it on and patients yes. and you try it on orchids. Right. And of course, with the massive root systems that most orchids have, um, phosphite was a welcome chemical to the, in, to in, the in, use of, right. yes. yes. Alright. Yes. So that's what Growfight is our, our, our trade name. 
you will find a dozen other trade names out there containing the active ingredient phosphite. So that is what so, brophite is. Brophite. And I know your motto is when you want it to grow, call the pro. Yes. So I'm just asking, brophite, you say phosphite is like what the main ingredient in this product? Mm, right. And grow now would be from your so brophite. Oh, I like <laughs> that. I like that. I'm looking at it Thank and you. listening to you, I just realized. So, oh yes. yes, right. And you have plus. Is there a significant anything significant to, to this? Plus. Right, to right. The plus. So you would find that the active generic ingredient is say phosphite. Yes. But we add other um other maybe micronutrients or a biosimulant that makes the product more effective. All right. And that's what the plus, plus is for, yes. So yes. in addition to the to the phosphate, you have other ingredients that to enhance. Right. Correct. All right. Correct. And I see you have um four different sizes here. Mm -hmm. You have the economy size and you have three other sizes. So for a small farmer or horticulturist yes. who doesn't have many plants, they can always buy the size that best suits their need. Correct. Right. Correct. And uh, growthite, it says, increases metabolism and increases stress and disease resistance, which you spoke about with the turf management. Right. And it, right. it, it, it increases the plant immune defense. Right. So, for instance, I'm asking if I have a plant, say, for instance, an orchid that's looking puny and it's not thriving, how can growthite enhance or how can I use growthite to get that plant to thrive, to look better, to become a healthy plant? Okay. Um, from a technical perspective, uh -huh. um, you first have to diagnose what is causing that plant for not growing well. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily a fungal um, situation that you might be having. It could be too much light or not enough light. Mm -hmm. Other nutrients, maybe nutrients. Um, there, you know the number of yes. factors that yes. could. Yes. True. But if it is that you're not having a good growth because you are infected um, with um a fungi a fungus mm -hmm. and namely um fungi from what's called broadly the umyces group of of, of fungi mm -hmm. then growthite would be a good answer to get your roots um stimulated mm -hmm. and going now <clears throat> the mode of action it's not, it is more a preventative mm -hmm. application okay. than a curative. Okay. So you would be better off to prune if your root system is not looking good, mm -hmm. is to prune it, mm -hmm. allow it to start to grow again, then you spray on your grow fight to protect. Okay. Well, I learned about Growfight in 2019. I've been using it since then. What I normally do once I make a beer root purchase with orchids, yes. I use it to saturate the entire plant. And I find that it works well for me because within no time, the plant puts out a lot of roots. Right. So what would you would have done there? So let's say the plant was not, say, heavily infected with any pythium or something. You are actually putting on a protective layer. So what you are doing there is being proactive in protecting it so that no future pythium or phytophthora could come and infect that root system. So it, so it as works a as, yes. a, as a dip. Okay. Yes. Okay. As a pre plant dip or okay. pre exposure. Yes. And as I said just now, I learned about Growfight from you in 2019. But how long has it been on the shelf? Uh, maybe a little before that, maybe 2015 or so. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
I find it to be very effective because I can recall I have three bromelias that I acquired from you back in 2005. Mm -hmm. 2005, that's a whole heap of years, guys, <laughs> from my eyes were at my knees. <laughs> and if you, have, if you know me, I'm a very tall person, so it's a number of years <laughs> that I acquired three bromelias from Mr. Scarlett. And yeah. they weren't thriving. They were just there. And one day I decided to check the rooting system. And when I removed yes. them from the container, there were no roots at all. Right. And I decided to use the grow fight. Yes. I repotted and I used a different medium. Yes. And Mr. Scarlet, when I checked again, there were roots. There were. And the bromeliads. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. I love right. grow fight. Grow fight is the best thing since sliced bread for me <laughs> at home I'm when I'm in my garden. I'm happy. I'm and, happy. And I've used it in a lot of my videos and persons are very intrigued with it. They are interesting to learn because I keep getting questions. What is grow fight? Where can I get it to purchase? Well, guys, you know, know that you come to Evergrow Garden Center and get your grow fight. Grow fight comes in four different sizes, so you can choose the size that best suits your need. And it is very effective from my experience and from what the person who distributes it has told us this morning. Mark, you have a lot of big words in it where a lot of us might not understand, but we can go do a research. And mm. yes, and learn even more about the ingredients that are found in grow fight. Yeah. All right. So that being okay. said, the application. For the application, Mr. Scarlett is now going to demonstrate how we mix this product in order for us to use it on our plants. Mr. Scarlett, grow fight is not limited to just orchids, right? We want to no. make that clear. Sure. All right. Thank anything you for that. that. Grows, anything that has root, yes. And um, if it don't have no root, you know, still use still it. <laughs> it will give you root based on my experience. Okay. Yes. All right. So we are going to be talking about the application right now. So can you just tell us how to mix this product? Okay. So even before we go, I could, well, it's the rate, it's two teaspoons per gallon of water. And now, this is, this is a about a gallon. Okay. This is about, yes, just a little above a gallon. And, um, and this cap here is just about a teaspoon. So you can, um, this thing has a protection over it. So you can pour your so you get about a gallon of water in here and you pour your three teaspoons and you mix it thoroughly and um, then how you apply it to the plant now you can either do a spray can i stop you for a minute sure all right so we're using the cork instead of a real measure, measuring spoon right all right so you say it's three to get the two teaspoons full it's three cork uh, full uh, corks full i should say of, of this all no, right uh, i'm sorry i would have it's it's one this is approximately one teaspoon this, okay this cover. okay but i right. would encourage you to use your um your teaspoons you could get a a measuring yes, spoon. Yes, it's definitely. best to be accurate. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, this is an estimate. So you, it's better than don't do this. Don't no. don't do <laughs> this. Always measure and and pour. And pour. Mm -hmm. So don't pour into the thing without a measure. Okay. Yes. Remember, guys, we have to measure. Okay. Because um, what if we should pour it from the bottle and not use the prescribed measurement? Would that be harmful to the plant? Ah, uh, yes. You could, if you overdo it, mm -hmm. it could be too concentrated and then it could burn the young roots. Okay. Okay. And yes. if, if it's under, then it's, it, it's, it's like, not going to be beneficial. Mm, yes. So correct. you have to be precise with your, with your measurements. Okay. So after you have done that, you, you mix this thoroughly until you have a true solution. Mm -hmm. Then you can um, apply either as a mist mm -hmm. or you can drench. Or, yeah, so can you saturate. can saturate the plants. Mm -hmm. 
just saturate, drench it. Mm -hmm. Or you can just miss both the leaves and the roots. So it will, the plant will uptake either from the root system. If you drench it, it can take it up. Or it can, you can spray, apply, mist, it, apply it to the foliage. The great thing about the product, it's taken up, it's, it's transported both in what's called the xylem and the phloem of the plants. So it will take it from the roots up and it can take it from the leaves to the other parts wow. of the plant. So it That's has, interesting. Yeah, so maybe one of the reasons it's so effective is because of this dual transport system. Most other chemicals will only go via the, the xylem. That is the route through and which the water takes mm -hmm. it up, through well, which water travels from root to, to, to shoot. But growthite but takes it either way. Either way, yes. All right. I have another question because normally I don't use a gallon whenever I'm applying growthite to my bare root orchid. So I will use a spray bottle like this or a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and in that case now i normally use a discretionary measurement mm -hmm. based on the measurement with the cork for the gallon how like for this size mm -hmm. spray bottle what how much cork pull how much would you recommend for that size bottle okay so this is about a 250 250 mils mm -hmm. which is about a one eight of um, a gallon, I think. Yes. So you would use like <laughs> one eighth of this measure. <laughs> so, Mr. Or Stella. best, what I what I recommend is you do a standard mix. Always use like a gallon or a half a gallon, and just store the rest for not too long, a day or two, and it will be good. I was use. just about to ask that because this is the first time learning this. So, guys, he, Mr. Scarlett is recommending, well, I normally use a discretionary measurement, but he has now recommended that we do a half a gallon or a full gallon and we can store, store. it, but not so, for too long. Not for too long. But let me make a caution here yes. in storing mixed chemicals. Yes. You can mix and store fertilizers, but you don't mix and store um, fungicides or insecticides. Growfite is considered a fertilizer because of what it is. Oh, so it is By a fertilizer. chemistry, it is okay. designated a fertilizer. And as I said to you, it's, it's one of these fertilizers that have, um, fungicidal properties. Okay. So you can treat it as chemistry, a fertilizer. Okay. So you can mix it, store it for days and reuse it. Don't do that for fungicides or insecticides. Thank you so much for that. Yes. I have another question. Growfite, being such a unique product, is it safe to combine it with other products when we are using this mixture? Like, suppose you want to put a little 20-20 um, fertilizer with it. Suppose you want to put something else with it. I normally use it with um, hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Um, we recommend that you, when you are using these specialized um, chemicals, yes. that you don't really mix them because there can be interaction. Um, uh, let's say a hydrogen peroxide is highly oxidizing and it could interfere with the chemistry of graphite. Oh. The other thing Two, if you mix this product with copper or with, say, calcium, you will get a precipitation okay. because of the high phosphate content. So you have to really be certain that you mix. Or you just apply them separately. Okay, because I have been using growthite with hydrogen peroxide, combining both products together because that is what I had learned initially. But you are now um, saying that we should use them separately. It's it's best it's to best. do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's best to use. Okay. 
chemicals separately because you just don't know how they, how they could react. Okay. Yes. Well, from my past experience, I have not seen any reaction on the plants because, as I said, they thrive. Yes. And I attribute it to the graphite. Yes. 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 So, guys, yeah. I think we have come to the end of the presentation. I have learned a lot this morning. I hope you did too. Mr. Scarlett, thank you so much. This was a very informative presentation. I know you're still going to ask me questions, but I'll try my best to answer them. So you can always leave me a comment, drop me a comment. Let me know if you have any further questions and I'll do my best to respond to them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to pick up your grow fight at Evergrow Garden Center in Kingston. Now you know where to get it. And um, Mr. Scarlett, a lot of persons, I mean, they have is they never knew about Evergrow before. I have this lady. I met her at Hanuka Market in October of last year. And she said I was the person who introduced her to Evergrow. And I was surprised because I thought everybody in Jamaica knew about this posh place. Mom, tell me what you're just about. Yes, a posh of blooms. Let me go at Evergrow. Because I saw her talking about Evergrow. Stones and everything at Evergrow. She met me leave Sentan and go to Evergrow at home. Amen, my sister. Amen. Well said. <laughs> all right, big up yourself. Yeah. Well, guys, now you know where to come and get all your gardening supplies. Evergrow Garden Center in Kingston. You can call them. I'm going to place the numbers on the screen for you to call if you are too far away to come. And you can make arrangements to have your plants. Um, I mean, that is something that can be worked out if you are unable to come. But give them a call and. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And also click on the notification bell so that you'll never miss out when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay precious and see you again in my next video. Thank you, ma'am. Very good. Thank you.